Hey guys, welcome to week four of Own Your Life Live. The quote today was, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. That's a quote from Aristotle, and I want you to think about that quote. The first line is very, very powerful. We are what we repeatedly do. And if that's the case, I want you to stop and think about, on a daily basis, what are the things that you're repeatedly doing? What are the habits that over time you've created, whether you acknowledge that or whether you don't acknowledge it? A list of examples of not healthy or not successful habits on a daily basis are going to be things like blaming and criticizing others, spending all your money, taking all your paycheck, going out and spending it all, overwatching TV, overeating, consuming too much junk food, and sleeping in. These are a couple examples of things that many, many people are doing on a daily basis. And if you look at this list, think about if you are what you repeatedly, repeatedly do, what are you going to be with habits like that? Now let's look on the flip side of the coin to that same list. I think successful habits are things like writing and reading your goals on a daily basis like we talked about two weeks ago. Taking responsibility for your actions, your mindset, and your results. Investing your money instead of spending all of it. Reading books, and audio does count. Working out and having a health conscious diet on a daily basis. And how about you try waking up with some excitement and with a game plan. So if you were to compare those two lists, for example, spending all my money on payday is my habit versus investing some of my money out of each paycheck is a habit. If you are what you repeatedly do, then which habit is it that you want to have in your life? So last week we talked about action plans. The week before that was goals and before that was taking responsibility. So action plans and habits go hand in hand with each other. You should have your action plans written out along with your goals. And the, the ultimate goal here of what we're trying to do is make those action plans that you need to do to achieve your goals. Do them every day and start creating those as daily habits. You know, if you're going to, if you have a goal to get fit and healthy, you can't just go and eat healthy two days a week and work out one day a week. Yes, you wrote your action plan, you know what it is that you need to do, but if you don't make it a habit and consistently do it, then it's, you know, it's, you're not going to gain a lot of ground on that. So create your action plans and transition them into habits. If you do that, you are going to launch towards your goals very, very quickly. All right, guys, so we know what our action plan is, and we understand that we want to make it a habit. So the question is, why is that difficult to do? Why is it difficult to replace something that you know if you repeatedly do is not going to make you the most successful person, the person you want to be? Why is it hard to take that habit and transition it into a healthy habit, a success habit? And the answer to that is, your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind does a couple of things and the main job of the subconscious mind is to keep you safe. And by keeping you safe, that's another word for keeping you in your comfort zone. Let me give you a hint guys, there is no growth inside your comfort zone. You are going to have to get out of your comfort zone and beat your subconscious out of keeping you in your comfort zone if you're ever going to get ahead, if you're ever going to see the kind of growth that it is that you want. So the next question would be, why is its job to keep you in your comfort zone? Fear, people. The fear of failing is so powerful, it will stop you. It has already stopped thousands. It has stopped millions of people from even attempting to take the first steps to replacing their habits to obtaining their goals to becoming the person they want to be. So your current comfort zone 
is your current habits. We've already gone through a list. If your current habits are unhealthy traits, that means your comfort zone is keeping you in an uncomfortable place, an unhealthy place that you are not able to grow towards your goals that you're trying to accomplish. It's that simple, guys. You have to get outside of your comfort zone. So your subconscious mind has its job, keep you there. Well, guess what your job is? Your job is to be aware of what your subconscious mind is telling you. You're gonna constantly feel resistance from your subconscious mind trying to pull you back into that comfort zone, trying to give you excuses why you can't go and do the action plans today that you know you need to do. You're gonna feel resistance towards the change because what if you fail? What if that fear of failure becomes a reality to you? Wouldn't that just be the death of you? No, it wouldn't. That's how you grow, that's how we learn lessons. If we were toddlers and we learned to walk and we allowed our subconscious mind the first time that we fell on our knees or on our stomach or bumped our chin trying to learn how to walk, if we had the minds of an adult as a toddler, we would never try to walk again. And it's just as silly. When you have goals, you're reading them every day, you have your action plans, you're aware of them and you know that you need to transition those unhealthy habits into your new current action plans, don't let your subconscious mind make you do something as silly as giving up walking when you were a toddler because it's the same thing and you would have never grown had you let that happen. So the bottom line here guys is to just be aware that your subconscious mind has a job and that is to keep you in your comfort zone. You too have a job and that is to be aware of your subconscious mind, be aware of what it's te telling you and to not listen to it. So as long as it's doing its job, you're not going to grow. As long as you're doing your job, which is acknowledging it, which everyone has, and beating it, then you're going to grow and go on to do your habits, make your habits become your daily action plans, which are going to launch you to your goals as quickly as you can get there. So successful people are simply those with successful habits. Since we know that that is true, let's recap what we've gone over over the first four weeks of Own Your Life Live. Week one was taking responsibility of your actions, of your thought process. Week two was having goals. Not only having goals, but writing down your goals and reading your goals. Week three, we talked about action plans writing the proper actions that you're going to have to take as frequently as you need to to actually accomplish the goals. And now in week four, we're talking about making those action plans that are required to accomplish your goals a habit. You have to create habits out of your action plans. You can't do them when you feel like it or when your subconscious mind says, all right, today go for it. You have to be consistent and beat your subconscious mind. So what are you gonna get out of all this? Well, in the beginning of this video on habits, so we are what we repeatedly do. If you repeatedly do what we've talked about in the first four weeks, I promise you, you're gonna feel better about yourself because you're gonna take control back of your future, taking responsibility. It's gonna be a massive boost in your self-confidence. You're gonna find excitement again about today about where your life is going. Wouldn't it be great if tomorrow morning, instead of hitting the snooze button and letting resistance beat you in the morning, you got up and clapped your hands and were excited to get up because you have goals, you have an action plan, and you have healthy habits that are gonna get you there. Follow these steps, and I promise you that you will be a better you. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Own Your Life Live. It is our mission to expand minds to new possibilities and encourage personal development by sharing already proven success principles. We simply offer the nudge and nugget of new information to guide you there. To own your life just means to love what you do. It is to do what you love. 
To own your life is to live life with purpose and with excitement for the now and also with excitement for the future. None of what we share in these videos were created by us. These are success-oriented principles that can go back to the beginning of time. If you went back to Egypt, I guarantee if you studied a success story, the individuals involved are applying these very principles. They were applicable back then and they are applicable to the Bill Gates of today's time. Thank you for watching. I encourage you to share these videos. We love the feedback. If you can comment, let us know what you like, what you don't like, topics that you would like to hear more about. We would absolutely love to hear that. Don't forget to click and subscribe. My name is Joe Wagner, and I encourage you to live the life you dream about and dream about the life that you want to live.